Hi, Janice. Hi. What are we looking at here? We're looking at Empty Nest. Now, I haven't been involved too much with Empty Nest the last couple weeks, but I thought maybe you could share some of the objectives our clients had uh, when you designed this with them. And so I see right off that uh, this has a different insignia. <laughs> they just kind of wanted to have more of a fun vibe when they get to the campgrounds, so they decided to change it to a peace sign. Cool. What's going on up top? They have actually two... Uh, two awnings. Awnings, yeah. yeah. So in using the van that they currently have, they really love the awning that's on the typical side, on the passenger side, and just wanted to be able to use it on both sides. Cool. Yeah. Well, let's go inside. I, there are a couple things in there that I think uh, I'd like to ask you about. Janice, can you tell us a little bit about the color choice? Their decisions came pretty organically. They started with the laminate, and they found a laminate sample that they like, and it's this marbly kind of um, pattern. So it's um, with white and gray, they thought a red accent would look really nice, and I'd say they were right. Yeah. So can you demonstrate the bed? This is a bed that's uh, different than any others that we've done, right? Yeah, so it slides out, and this part is similar to other beds that we've done. But, so the cushions geometrically fit both for the bed and for seating. And what's different about this bed is the articulation at the head of the bed. We made it slide and articulate. Yeah. That is way cool. That took some head scratching, but we have the best team. And the TV is at the other end. And uh, uh -huh. so this is for watching TV or reading or whatever. Yes. And uh, I, I noticed putting this bed back together a minute ago that it really operates smoothly. Uh, there's support. You can see it slides out there. And then there's support uh, down by your feet. Mm -hmm. And uh, so can you put it back together real quick? Sure. So the, those roll up and then this was what I was amazed at how easy it slides back into place. It's really easy. This is a butcher block countertop that's, t tell us about it's, what uh, they, they wanted more gray tones and a lot of their inspiration photos were sort of like driftwood looking photos. And so um, our cabinet team picked different species of wood and, and sent different um, samples to the client, and the clients chose which one they liked the best, and then stained it to mimic the inspiration photos that they provided us. Well, thank you, Janice. Uh, I know there's a lot of, uh, of other things here, and let's go to the rear and kind of look. There's some unique things that I'd like to learn more about back there. Sure. So, Janice, another peace sign on the rear. That's uh, carbon fiber. Yeah. Sorry the van is so dirty, hasn't been cleaned for delivery yet, but uh, tell us a little bit about the ladder on the back, uh, back of the van. Do they, they don't have a rack on top. No, so they're actually going to use this ladder mainly for um, attaching a ski rack and other potential storage options. Um, but they may use it to get up there and clean off the roof or maybe tie something down here and there. This is way different. Let's start with this thing on the door. What's that? That's a table that the clients travel with and they use it all the time in their travels. So we created a little uh, storage nook for them. Is that a bug screen stand? Yes. It's one unit. Oh, the thermal, it's already thermally in there. It's already there. When you want to use the thermal blanket, you take the whole thing down. And when you want the bug screen, you just roll up the thermal blanket and attach it up there, and you've got your bug screen. This is kind of a cool rear bath, but there's some things here that's, that are kind of different. Uh, <laughs> I see the toilet there. That's a, a flush toilet, macerator toilet. What are these cages? Are they for cats, dogs, snakes? What, <laughs> what is the... So this is for their dog. They specified the size that the dog would like best. We built it, we fabricated it ourselves here, um, and we added a little storage bin on top at the client's request. So that's an open bin that just kind of matches the design of the uh, dog cage. Mm -hmm. And then when they take a shower, does the dog uh, get a shower too, is that? <laughs> no, it's actually a pretty cool design. So the, the curtain has a track that goes all the way around? Yes. 
Very neat. Do you know how this dog cage got made? Dave and Welding made it. The client specifically requested two doors so that the dog has access from the inside and from the outside. And what's that bottom? Uh, it looks like there's another handle in the center of the bottom. That's for easy cleaning. You can vacuum all the dog hair out from the bottom of that. Yeah. What else, when you were working with a client on their configuration, is there anything else that uh, just quickly we want to point out? They customized a rear sink. Um, their objective for a bigger sink was met by pushing this all the way back and then making the galley a little bit deeper, only towards the end so that you really didn't sacrifice the feeling of spaciousness when you walked into the van. This is awesome, Janice. I, you know, this, this kind of van only happens when and because you and Liz and others spend so much time listening to clients, starting with objectives, and then uh, uh, identifying what the objectives are and what the design details are, and then working with the, the, uh, the craftspeople to get it done. So thanks for doing this, and uh, thanks for explaining this to me. It's a fun process. <laughs>